Okay. 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 Oh hey, my I'm god. <laughs> We just wrapped a Bugatti 900 right, yards. Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Neil and welcome back to Forza Horizon 4. I've been having a ton of fun with this game and since the full game doesn't come out for a few more days, I'm going to continue on with the demo, which is huge. By the way, it's an absolutely huge freaking demo. It's like 22 freaking gigabytes. I mean, I remember it seems like not that long ago you could download like four or five games in 22, 22 gigabytes. It's, it's insane. Anyway, I switched up my car from the Audi to the Dodge here, as you can see. It's, a, it's an absolute American classic. Hold on. There we go. Let's just, let's just stare at this thing for a few seconds with the nice backdrop. This is such a pretty game. Anyway... What we are going to do in today's video, I just got a call from a guy in the game. He said that a movie director wants to talk to me about doing stunt work for a James Bond movie or something. So that sounds like uh, so awesome. It sounds like it's going to be like a throwback to the Stuntman games or something. At least that's what I'm, I'm really hoping this is going to be because that would just be... Oh, that would just be amazing. So we're going to make our way over there, causing as little destruction as we can. But we already know uh, that we're probably going to wreck into a ton of stuff. Man, I know I've said it before, but this game is just so freaking beautiful, guys. There. What's that car right there? Is that like a Lotus? I think so. Or something like it. might be a Tesla Roadster. I don't know. Anyway, look at that. It's gorgeous. I mean, Australia map on uh, Forza Horizon 3 was gorgeous as well. But this is, I don't know, it's just way more green. I guess, because a lot of the Australian map was uh, a whole lot of dunes and deserts, which, you know, worked. It was still cool, and it had, like, wooded areas, but it's just a whole new level of beautiful. Anyway, guys, uh, if you guys want to see more Forza Horizon 4 on the channel, especially once the game comes out, if you guys would like to me to really, like, go in on that game and make a bunch of awesome videos on that, let me know down below in the comments. Make sure to hit that like button as well, and if you have any suggestions for what you'd like to see me do in the Forza Horizon 4 demo or the full game, uh, click down below because I'll have a link to my Discord and I have a discussion tab where you can discuss videos and leave suggestions and stuff like that. Oh god, okay, we got this thing moving. Can we drift it? <laughs> Only go through a brick wall, oh god, and a couple of trees, but we did drift this. I feel like this car is more at home off-road. I mean, I know it's probably not meant for that, but in the Dukes of Hazard, like, how often were they actually driving on an actual road? You know what I mean? So, <laughs> this car doesn't even make sense to be in this part of the world, but here we are, ladies and gentlemen. Let's make it cut through here. Can I do that without... Nope, I can't. I can't do it without running into a tree. Now, the way I play Forza, it's just me specifically. I like to turn off the, uh, the, the, the damage on the cars because... I don't know, it just feels wrong. But if you guys would like to, for me to turn it back on, you want to see the car damage. I mean, it's no BMG drive. It's it's mainly just cosmetic stuff. But if you guys would still like to see that in the future, uh, just let me know down below, and I'll turn it back on for you guys. Because I love you. Just know, I don't usually play this game like that. That was a pretty good drift. Anyway. Oh, I see cameras. This must be the place. We're going to be movie stars. Yay! The stud driver. Is that a Bugatti? Future star of the silver screen. Hardly the doppelganger you promised. You having a laugh? They're like you twins. having a laugh? Uh, you'll do. Literally just me. Mike Steele, by the way. Today's shoot's a getaway scene. Head over to Broadway Village. We got everything set up there. The kid better be as good as you say. Oh my God, that is a Bugatti Chiron. Holy crap! Right. Okay. Can I just get a? Uh... Can I just get a quick pick of this thing? Yeah, we don't wanna because good God, that is a beautiful car. Okay, so the direct I just roll onto the set, and the director's like, "Yeah, drive it here. You're gonna do some stunts in this multi-million-dollar car." Oh man, that is a beautiful car. Anyway, so we're shooting a getaway scene, which uh, should be interesting. Let's uh, let's take a listen to how this thing sounds because. I just I want to I want to hear the power of this thing. Hold on, let's hear it. Oh 
Oh man, that thing sounds, <laughs> that thing sounds a beautiful. You know what, the Bugattis, I'm not really a fan of what they do with the interior, although this one doesn't look too bad, but this one specifically, the outside is just so freaking cool. Look, the, the exterior is just so freaking cool looking, man. I don't know, it's like futuristic, but retro at the same time. I don't know if that's what they were going for, but that's definitely what it. it looks like. That was quick. Uh, right, let's get everything set up. You're going in at the deep end, but at least you look the part now. This is a classic car escape. The hero's being chased by a jet and escapes by jumping through an old windmill. Don't ask. <laughs> if you're as good as okay. Joel says, this should be no trouble. Hey, remember to breathe, kid. Just don't let it get away from you. I'll talk you through it. You'll be fine. All righty, Chief. So we're shooting a getaway scene classic, jumping through the windmill. Makes perfect sense to me. Now, in actual okay, movies, go don't they okay, usually just uh, use... Whoa, that is a jet. <laughs> I, I understand, like, for most movies, yeah, when they need to wreck like, a so very what? expensive You'll car, just it's usually just a, uh, like, Maybe a body on top of a normal us. car just so they don't have to buy the actual car. But that's not what they're doing here, so... Whoa! <laughs> they're doing it all for real. I guess he just has... Unlimited funds. It better be a good movie. I remember in uh, Casino Royale, I believe it was, there was a scene that called for an Aston Martin to flip like 10 times. And they couldn't get the Aston Martin to flip, so they ended up totaling like six Aston Martins. It may, it may have been more than that, but they were real Aston Martins too, so you can look it up on YouTube. It's pretty funny. I mean, it's, it's not funny. I mean, it, 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 it's funny, but it's not funny at the same time. Oh my god, are we gonna jump that? Okay. 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 Oh my god. <laughs> we just wrapped a Bugatti 900 yards. Hey, we. I mean, we completed it though. <laughs> Do that again. Wow, okay, that was awesome. I want more of that. That's that's a cool challenge to add to this game. That was really cool. Do I get to drive just like insane cars every time? Oh man, I want I want to do another one of those. Do we hit is there any other ones in the demo? I don't know. I guess we're just gonna have to find out, but for now, I guess that's it. But that was still pretty freaking cool. There was even like cameras on the side of the road. Did you guys see that? So they were actually like filming that. That was cool, man. Hey rookie. There's a lot of rumors flying around that you've landed a spot in a new movie. Yeah, I'm a movie star. Make sure you save time to take part in the autumn season when you're rich and famous. Dirt racing series. Oh, Ooh, okay, okay. Yeah, let's do that. Am I going to take this car? Or are you going to give me like some super specked out rally fighter? Because that would be awesome. Uh, as well. Oh, man, this thing just wants to drift. <laughs> That's for sure. I can't imagine what kind of drift cars are actually going to be in this game. I am so pumped for this game, guys. I, I dropped a hundred freaking dollars just to get this game three days earlier. And, you know, it also comes with all the DLC and future DLC as well. But if you buy, like, the, the, the super expensive version, you get to play it, like, three or four days earlier. I dropped that. I dropped that hundred dollars. So definitely expect um, some videos, a lot of videos, actually, in the next couple days. There's only a few companies that I will pre-order games from because I honestly think pre-ordering is dumb. But if you're Rockstar or you're Naughty Dog or you're Playground Games, I will probably pre-order. And that's about it. I really can't think of any other any other companies that I would definitely pre-order from. Is it, do you guys have any companies that, that you would pre-order from? Because honestly, pre-ordering pre is a stupid move. But is there any companies that you know the game is going to be good? They're not going to BS you and you would happily pre-order from. I'm just curious, so let me know down below in those comment sections. Drift it! Yeah, perfect <laughs> God, oh God. Okay, 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 through all the walls. We're fine, we're fine. We made it in one piece, probably not, but we still made it, okay? There we are, all right. 
off-roading. What are we going to drive? I honestly don't want to drive my car. It's so clean. Ooh, there's some off-road car. Come and see me after the race if you need anything else. What is that, a uh, escort? I don't know if you guys can see this, but my recording is like glitching out. It's only doing it in the cutscenes, I think, but I apologize. I'll try to I'll try to figure that out. Anyway, we got the Ford Escort, Cosworth. We got a WRX STI, of course. And, oh, a Straw Dale. Okay, I got to go with this. It's just so aesthetic mm, solid looking. It, it, it's like an outrun car. Stuff. I mean, look at that. Oh, look at the back end of that thing, man. How could I not go with that? It's beautiful. It's gorgeous. I love it. All righty, here we go. Let's do this. Okay. Try out the Our straw down. Right I think that's how you say it. You I might be saying that wrong. But this this is a bad ass freaking car, so I am super excited. We've got an old Subi right there. There's a really good selection of cars in this game from what I've seen so far. I even saw like an off-roading semi car truck thing. So hopefully I'll be able to drive those as well because that's cool. As heck, man. Yeah, this is a proper off-road race. Excuse me, fellers. Just gonna come on through here. Whoop! I just missed that, but I guess it's gonna count. <laughs> I guess it's gonna count it anyway. Okay, I might need to adjust the difficulty because this feels uh, shockingly easy. I'm already in second place. You know, I want to. I want to have a little bit of a challenge. I mean, I think personally, I picked the best car, but uh, still, I feel like some of them should at least be. At least kind of be catching up with me a little bit. There we go. First place. Here we go. Not bad. Let's get a first person look. Oh, yeah. Look at that. It's just... Whoa. Okay. I need to pay attention to the road, not the car. Sorry. Sorry, but it's just so beautiful. Would, it, would any of you guys daily this? I mean, I'm positive this car probably is not street legal. But if you could, would you? Oh. Oh. Okay. That's rough. That's rough. This thing is perfect off-road, though. It handles pretty dang well, especially around corners, which I guess probably it's made to do that, so that makes sense. But still, I like to compliment a car when it can handle good because usually I can't drive very good. Racing games are not my forte. I mean, they are my forte. That's what I love. But it doesn't mean, even though I've been playing them for years, it doesn't mean I'm very good at, uh, <laughs> at racing games. How? I don't know. It's literally... Like, ever since I first got, like, a PS2, all I've played is racing games for the most part, but I'm still not the best at them. It doesn't make sense. Maybe it's just, I don't know. It's not my calling. Like, video editing editing is probably my calling, but still, I'm giving it my best shot, and uh, where I'm going with this is that this car makes it easy for me. That was a very long-winded explanation, but in short, this car makes it easy. Man, they're not even in my rear view at this point. <laughs> yeah, I'm definitely... definitely going to need to bump up the difficulty just a little bit because this is uh just a little bit too easy but you know we won we're gonna get that sweet moolah anyway Ooh, i'm not sure if you can actually upgrade any of the cars though in the demo so i'll i'll, I'll save that stuff for the actual playthrough but for now yes. i'm Forced pretty happy man second back. place was seven seconds behind me <laughs> we killed it we leveled up. I got 10,000 credits for that. Not bad. Looks like you've nearly qualified for the autumn season. The autumn Remember, season. Remember, the more driving you do, the more you'll build your influence. Okay. Oh, yeah. You see, there's um, hey, seasons in this game, about you. if you didn't oh, know. Sorry. All right. So we got a street race. Oh, man. That'll be fun. But I'm going to save that for the next video, which should be going up uh, maybe tomorrow or the next day. Keep a lookout. And I'm definitely going to live stream this game when it comes out in its entirety so if you haven't already click a link down below that'll lead to my twitch channel because that's where i'm gonna be doing it probably all day when this thing comes out so if you want to watch that go follow me on twitch and make sure to like comment and subscribe and join my discord join the discussion tell me what you want to see in future videos but until then i'll talk to you guys in the next one see ya